Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we are heading to Juno Beach, Florida, and we're gonna fish the legendary Juno Pier. This pier is located just south of Jupiter, Florida, and it was built back in 1949. This time of year, giant snook come from all over and gather during the day under this pier, getting ready to spawn. They venture out from under the pier at night to go feed heavily and then come back in the morning hours. This can make for some really tough fishing during the day, but I think we're up to the task, so we're gonna give it a shot. So join us as we hook some massive snook. As Jack or I look back on the bet we made, one of us will see it as the biggest mistake of our life. So let's get started. We are back at the famous Juno Pier. Got frisky fins, James, Jack, yakking with Jack, and Jordan from G2 Coastal. We've got, I think, uh, four dozen croakers, some lures. We're gonna see if we can hook into some big boys. So uh, we're gonna get down to the end of the pier, get set up, I'll show you guys what I'm using, and uh, hopefully we hook something pretty quick. We're fishing for giant fish that are right next to extreme structure. So you've got to have heavy equipment. I've got a custom pier rod, eight feet long. It's extra heavy, uh, it's made by Frisky Fins. And I've got a pin conventional reel on there. And that's spooled with 60 pound mono. And that was connected to a two to four ounce egg sinker, which then was connected to 80 to 100 pound fluorocarbon leader, which was usually two to three feet long. And then at the end of that, we'd have a three X live bait J hook. And then of course you'd attach your croaker through the snout to the J hook. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite ways to pass the time on the pier was to sneak up behind Jack and tap his rod, making him think he had a bite. Sorry, I feel bad now. No, you good. I'm sure you'll get me back. The fishing this first morning was completely dead, so I decided to go ahead and drop the GoPro. We knew there were a lot of snook around the pier. We could see some, but we had no idea what was going on underneath the pier. So I ventured all around the pier, went and dropped it in all different corners, and I was completely blown away by what I found. I just couldn't believe all the snook that were down there. And no small ones. These are all big snook. Probably the smallest ones, probably 32, 33 inches, I bet. And there's definitely some 45s in there. I mean, look at that. You, if you know snook at all, then that the bigger that hump gets, you know the older and bigger that snook is. There's not a lot to compare them to, but those spade fish there were the biggest spade fish I've ever seen. So if that gives you a little idea how big these snook were, it was just, it was crazy. And then you had schools of what were probably bait fish in the millions. These LYs just coming in where they just black out the water and you couldn't even see to the bottom. So you can probably see why I said Juno Pier is magical and maddening at the same time. Because you can sit there and look down and see giant snook and put a bait right on their nose and they will not eat it. Or I should say, will not eat it until they're ready to. So some of the guys decided to go ahead and head to lunch but I stayed back and wanted to fish because I did not want to miss if that bite turned on. And sure enough, they started biting a little bit. I caught a little one here, and uh, these little pier rats netted it for me, and then they hijacked my fish. 27, 26. I don't even think he's that big. You got a sneaky sneak. 23, maybe. He's fat. 22. 25. 24, uh, 24 and a half. Yeah, 24 and a half. 24 and a half. Down the hole. Well, then you better get over here. 
these kids were pretty funny. They were determined to try and score some uh, oh, free yeah, croakers off of me. Oh. Ten dollars. Five You make it two fifty, two hundred fifty bucks. I'll give you a croaker. One croaker. Dang. Because I got to deal with the big guy when he gets back. Big yeah, turtle. Tell big guy to go buy some more. This <laughs> yeah, you you tell him that. <laughs> He'll pick you up by your. God, dog. Dude is on fire. What is this number three in the past 10 minutes? Oh, it's small. Yeah, it's better. It's not a monster, but. Watch out, watch out. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a big one. Watch out, I'll catch you. Oh, that's like. I feel honestly. That's. Oh, what is that under it? A big ass Cuda. Yeah, I don't want him to get it. Yeah, that's like a 30. Hey, put it in the video, man. Here, go, wow. You don't know how to net a fish. You don't even. It felt like Mo, Larry, and Curly were doing the netting. You got to get lower. There you go. Go, go, go. And he even lifted it off. Yes, he did. That's a clean ass rock, too. There, bro. That's a 30. Hey, that thing ain't going to do that. 30. 30. Bigger, bigger. All right, that's a little bigger one. That's oh, I'm off big, bro. 30. Hey, is that your PB? Uh, Dude, I'll show this fucking kid. Sure. Over, Hurry up, get your phone out, though. I want to get him back in quick. And I gotta give. Dude, what are you doing? He's got every two minutes. All right. If you want to get in here, no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna release him real quick. So, just get a picture. Take a picture and send it to you. All right. Ooh. God dang it, where's the big one? Where's the long ruler at? How big is it? I don't know. All right, he goes to, he goes to that. Hey, uh, he, he goes to right there. Hey, we ain't counting us out when you rob it, dog. Here, like I put, I baited it. Get a piece I put of it out. Line. Get a piece of fishing line and do it. How many rods are you using? Bull crap. I'll go over here in a minute, the that's reason 32. for the argument. I saw you fishing with two earlier. Head diving right here. Right that, right that's 33. Yeah, that's 33. And head diving where he fit in there? He ain't gonna fit in there. Really? Stick him in, stick him in. That thing's like 34 put inches. In put him in a net, you don't need it. Oh, oh. that one, but good flop. That 33. Flop. That's, that's how you're supposed to. All right, guys, we got a beautiful morning here. We're back day two at Juno Pier. Got that guy, he's gonna get a Dallas tattoo. James, Jordan. So uh, we got a lot bigger croakers today. So I'm thinking we're gonna have better luck. Water's choppy, it's not flat, crystal clear. So I think it's gonna be good. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, you see that ninja? Okay, now is a good time to discuss the uh, high stakes involved in today. Jack is a Washington Redskins fan. I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. Naturally, our teams hate each other. So we have a bet that whoever catches the biggest snook on this trip, the loser has to get a tattoo of the other guy's team. Not a temporary tattoo, a permanent lifelong tattoo. Even though it's high stakes, I always have time to mess with Jack. What? I don't know you're recording. <laughs> Is that you? Oh. What? No funny at all. Oh. Dang, why'd you do that? <laughs> You just mad because you back even the castle you get me back for it. Oh no, I was just funny. Was, I'm sorry. I thought that was a good oh, one. Yeah, good. Because <laughs> I took it and I went like that. Yeah, yeah. I felt like like she's gonna oh. oh. I put it right here. Jack. Now remember the bet. 
Jack was at the other end of the pier there. He didn't even hear his rod going off, so I alerted him to it. Ah. Gone. Yep, he swam out. Where's the... <coughs> got it? Okay, he's got it. Got the net. He's getting one. Well, that's a nice one. Looks like Sean's gonna tap me. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Where's that net? Come on, Nixon. Did someone grab a net? <laughs> Sean, you want to grab a net? Yeah, he's some. Oh, someone, oh the, three people said they were heading up to Three it. people said they were getting it. They didn't have theirs tied onto a rope. You got him hooked in the. You got him hooked in the fin. Nice though. Drop it down, drop it down. Pick it up, 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 up. No, no. You Pick it up and pull it out. out. There you go. They're not pulled. Pull. Thank you, sir. It's all hooked. You got him hooked in the fence. Got him in the fence. Either way, I don't care. Where's it going more? Don't worry. Follow him. What is the number? Get the Yeah, I got it right here. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah. What is that one? What is that one? That's not No, that's watch out. That's an old hook in the gill and the fin. Yeah, that's might be. That's not even here. Make any pliers on it? Here. It's a nice hook. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, an old it's one. Huh? It's that hook. Oh, That's all right. You landed them. Yeah, funny. First sniff, finally. I don't know. We think he's like 33, 34. We'll get a measure. All right. Let's you know what I mean? 37. 37. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. They put him in a net and drop him down. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. How do you, how do you put him in? Put, put, put him, him in first. Put him in first. There you go. So Jack hooked this in the fin. It was foul hooked. We never discussed beforehand if a foul hooked fish would count towards the bet. What do you think? Should it count? Should it not? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Hey, there you go. I got it. Let go. I got him. Thank you. Oh, shit. Sorry, baby. You need a floater. Huh? You're left. The big fish started biting, and I had no doubt I was going to catch Jack. Nice one. And hey, that's a fish. Finally. Easy 40. <laughs> Easy 40. Thanks, slow back down, and I just got comfortable. No! Oh! Oh! Pull. I had him. He, he bent the rod. Hook just pulled. Oh, sorry, bud. It's pretty amazing how these giant fish can suck a croaker right off your line and not get hooked. All you can do, though, is just grab another croaker, put them on the hook, and get them back underneath the pier. Upside down when I just, I sat there for, I'm about to sit. Oh, shit. I just got hammered. Did you get my croaker? Yep. Gah! Yeah, you just ripped my croaker off. What? I don't care.
That was... God dang it! Jack! Jack, I caught your line. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't know until just then. Got him again. Gee, that's man. He almost jerked the rod out of my hand. Huh? That son of a bitch almost jerked the rod out of my hand. As you were holding. Oh. There you go. Get that mother. Get that. Get get that mother. Don't worry about me. You got him up, Nat. Jack, I appreciate you sprinting for me, buddy. I almost feel bad about the pranks. Not. I'm looking it out, right, Sean? Hold on. Okay, swing it out. Yeah, swing it out on. Okay. Just coming up with you, so it's not too close. There you go. Nice. What are you talking about? Cool. My hands were greasy <laughs> from that chicken, damn it. Well, he's got to beat, what, 37. No, sir. Stop, stop, stop. That's a 36 inch yeah. round net. That's 35. Oh, no, he's not even close. 34 and a half. Come on. I know my, I, I know my. All right, biggest one for me of the day, 34 and a half. It's almost as big as the one Jack snagged. That, that chicken grease, I think that's getting that chicken grease on the croaker is what made it work. Come on. Oh, dang, where'd it go? Oh! I literally just seen your rod dancing. He frayed me off. That was another monster there, look at that. All right, moving up to 100 pound now. Pulled the hook on two and broke off three. Oh, here we go. He just ripped my croaker off. <laughs> oh, here we go. And it happened, this was it. 40 inch plus snook, no doubt about it. As soon as I saw him, I knew he was over 40. Got him up. Got him up. Me. Oh, All right, guys, don't forget to comment below what you think on the bet and go watch Jack's latest video and leave him a comment telling him who really won. Hey, man. How you doing?